All right, I'm going to try to do this quick before he sells. So if you followed me on Snapchat, you guys know that I got, well, you guys might have. I don't know. I mean, I kind of blurted it all out. But the new car that I decided to get, 99 Final Edition Eddie Lacy. Yes, we are trying to sell him. But I, I got him for like 200K. And so this will be actually a pretty good profit. So let's look at the stats. <laughs> 101 trucking, 100 carrying, 100 Excel for a car for a guy that's only got 95 speed and he's got 100 Excel. That's actually pretty. That's actually a pretty deadly combination. Final edition, rushed for 1,139 yards and nine touchdowns. Man, this card, an absolute beast. Man, 95 speed, 100 carrying. Trust me, that carrying is 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 legit. Cause the games I played with him, he took some pretty big hits for some pretty heavy hitters, and he still held on to the ball. Again, pretty good pass block actually. So you know, if you like to block with your running back, this is the guy to go with. Good jumping, you know, fairly good, fairly good looseness, good ball carry, your vision, spin move, juke move, stiff arm. This card's a beast. But unfortunately, I'm trying to sell him trying to make a profit we might get him back again uh we'll see but let's get right into the gameplay with him all right guys we're into the game first game with eddie lacy and this is actually my divisional game of the playoffs uh, so you know man we're into the playoffs i decided you know what? let's get eddie lacy for the playoffs see how he performs this is the first game and eddie lacy already eddie lacy spin move eddie lacy look at the eddie lacy 100 excel but 95 speed down the field one man to beat but he's gonna get tackled from behind man i knew like if that was jamal charles he's gone dude but i mean you know that's not really the point but still i mean an absolute amazing run so I'm already liking this Eddie Lacy man I'm telling you this 99 Eddie Lacy he is so freaking good I mean power backs aren't really that good in this game because trucking doesn't really work uh, I think um, but this car just he's just so good man he has great ball carrying vision he hits holes you know he actually has you know really good um elusiveness which I'm kind of surprised about and then he's just so powerful that he just breaks off so many freaking tackles man this card's pretty damn good and Derek Johnson's also that good man getting a nice pick there put us in great field position <laughs> come on man this is awesome man I again I'm absolutely loving this card and uh, unfortunately I'm probably gonna have to sell it but I'm waiting to see uh, if its price will go up I mean I, bu I, I bought it for 200k so pretty much if I sell them for any more than you know pretty much like 210k I'll pretty much make a profit off of it which is a good thing of course so you know of course we're looking to do that Eddie Lacy punches it in he's got a receiving touchdown and he's got a rushing touchdown and I'm telling you man if you have the coins get this get this Eddie Lacy man this card is good like I'm not gonna lie this card is really freaking good I mean and rightfully so because Eddie Lacy is an amazing running back and uh, you know he deserved this card he really did but this isn't good I don't know how we didn't get the pick with Antoine Bethea and he's gone man he's scoring that touchdown he's diving into the end zone too and I'm like come on man I'm like you know like you're not that good okay <laughs> so he gets a touchdown there. It's 14 to 7. Look at Jamal Charles making some stuff happen, man. Still, we still have that, uh, that 89 Charles as our um, kick returner. And, man, he does work. Um, in my opinion, better than DeAnthony Thomas. But, I mean, you know, he is a higher overall than him, you know, slightly, but still. So, again, I, you know, absolutely love having Jamal as my kick, kick returner. He makes plays. And we're looking for Eddie Lacy to also make plays. RG3 rolling out the pocket. We're looking for Mike Dick, but instead, we're going to find Vincent Jackson. What a nice catch a nice throw to throwing dots right there to Vincent Jackson so going into the next quarter again we're doing some play action Mike Dicka just wide open no one's even around him so we're up 21 to zip man this guy it's not looking good for him man it's not looking good I mean, he still has a chance he doesn't get ball at half but you know still man you know still he's got to make some stuff happen here so but I mean again man that you know just and plus my team is also up to a uh, 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 yeah. My team's also up to a 98 overall, so just putting in Eddie Lacy made us a 98 overall. So one step closer to 99, even though we probably won't get it. And right there, he tested Derek Johnson. Don't know why. And Johnson's got another pick, and that's going to spark the rage quit. He's going to quit, but the gameplay is not done because you know what, man? We got the ch conference championship game. As you see, we got a first round bye. Didn't have to even worry about the wild card. So we're here uh, the away, man. I wanted to use my cool AFL Patriots jerseys, but I wasn't able to. So we're going to have to use these Giants j jerseys here in Seattle. And again, Eddie Lacy, man, you know we're going to him. And he's and I don't know what this dude was doing, but for the majority of the game, he was coming out in, like, quarters. You know, he came out in, like, prevent 
defense at one point. I was like, what are you doing, dude? And, I mean, he was just letting me, like, just run all run all over him with Eddie Lacy. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, but, hey, I'll, I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. And right here, Jamal Charles, spin move, and Charles, a nice run, man. Again, I absolutely love Charles and Lacy because when you got a powerful back like Lacy, and then you just, you know, you run it up the gut repeatedly, and then you switch it, and you do, like, like counters and pitches and powers with, uh, you know, with uh, a, a speed back like Jamal it really throws them off as a uh, RG3 just barely caught from behind there so again we're looking for someone to throw to we find of course Mike Ditka probably one of my best players I mean in terms of consistency and uh he's got Odo Beckham Jr. returning kicks that's a pretty a big uh kick kick return but so stopping him short so this guy he, uh, the first play of the game, he came out in three tight ends. So once he came out in three tight ends, I was like, oh, okay, so that's what we're doing. And he ran hurry up literally the entire game. And I was like, oh, okay, all right, all right, whatever, whatever. So he's getting some nice runs here with uh, Steven Ridley. Like I think it's like the 93, but he's got like a, like 99 trucking. So don't sleep on that Steven uh, R Ridley, the, the, NFL, the NFL movers one. So he's picking up a first down, going into the second quarter now. We got to stop, man. I believe he has Peyton Manning. I think. I mean, I'm trying to remember correctly, but I believe he does have Peyton Manning. So again, you know, uh, just he's going to be very accurate. I don't expect him to break the pocket a lot, but man, he's he's kind of eating me up here. Um, I will adjust, you know, but I mean, he's calling hurry up, so I can't like adjust my, you know, I have to just pretty much be set with the, you know, the set plays that I have, and I can't call a timeout. Which kind of does suck. It's right here. He's going to get the touchdown in, but I believe that was Luke Wilson. So he scores, and now he ties the game. So now we got to come out here, and he does a dumb, like, pooch kick again. But hey, man, well, whatever. You're putting me at the 40 yard line to start the drive. I'll take that. And look at this, uh, Eddie Lacy. And again, man, I'm telling you, he's a beast. Absolutely love this card. If you have the coins, uh, I, I recommend getting this card. I mean, this card is probably one of the best. Uh, running backs I've played with, and I've played with Golden Ticket Bo Jackson before, so uh, you know that's that's kind of sad. I mean, I like you know, I mean, of course, Golden Ticket Bo is like on his own level, but I mean, for us, for most people, I'd probably go with Eddie Lacy. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm just saying this definitely is probably the second best running back I've played with the entire year. So, again, definitely enjoy uh, Eddie Lacy. We also have the rising star, Le'Veon Bell. You know, man, I saw two of the, uh, you know, two of the cards that go into the rising star set for under two, uh, for about a, a thousand each, you know, a little bit more. So, I was like, you know, man, I'm going to make this, you know. I mean, it's going to be a really good power back. You know, of course, Le'Veon Bell, good power back, good, uh, um, good carry. So, I'm like, you know, man, I'm just going to make this Le'Veon Bell, and he's going to, you know, you know, I'm going to put him in and, like, short down or short yardage situations, and he's just going to power it in there. Uh, because, you know, I mean, having two Jamal Charles, a D'Anthony Thomas, and a uh, Denard Robinson as he just burns my safeties there, I don't know how. Like, what the hell was my safety? I was calling a cover four, and, they and no one was back there. Are you kidding me? Um, but anyways, like I was saying, um, having four speed backs, uh, you know, you don't really have anyone in those, like, short yardage situation so you know what man i needed a big power back to put in there so you know what Le'Veon bell i mean i think his rising star is like 96 trucking i think you know so that you know definitely works out so now here we go about to go in the half we almost got the kick return with jamal but somehow he was caught f from behind so we're gonna get sacked and we're gonna go into the next quarter um, of course, he gets the ball. So, uh, you know, I mean, I think this guy can be stopped. I don't know how he got that lucky-ass uh, touchdown. Oh, there we go. It's about time, man. Derek Johnson, man. Again, that 99 Derek Johnson. Again, he go, you could probably get him for under 100K. So, if you can, get that Derek Johnson, that 99 Derek J Johnson. That dude is a beast, man. He makes plays. Uh, you know, I kind of feel bad for Luke Keekley because Luke Keekley can't really get in on the fun anymore because Derek J because Derek Johnson totally just jacked his job. <laughs> I mean, you know, Derek, Derek Johnson just came in there and was like, okay, I'm going to make, like, at least, like, two or three interceptions a game. And Luke Keekley's like, oh, I can only make, like, one. I don't know, but I mean, I still have Luke Keekley at my right outside linebacker just because of how good he is in coverage. I don't know if that's a smart idea or not, uh, but we still have him there regardless. So again, he's throwing it up. He's not getting it. Now he's kind of, I mean, you know, now what he's doing isn't working. Now that I've adjusted and he can't call hurry up every, every single play, now 
His strategy, you see, I love people like this. Like, th like you know, something works for them, like they call hurry up the whole game or whatever, you know, and that works for them. And then once, you know, I get them out of that, it doesn't work at all. And I'm like, wow, like, you, you can only do, like, one thing? <laughs> I think it's kind of, kind of funny. So after the fumble, he comes out on, like, field goal block. Uh, probably expecting us to run it. I, mean, I don't know why. But uh, so we just throw it over top to VJAX. Vincent Jackson for the touchdown. Now we're up by two touchdowns. And I don't think this guy's got much of a chance. I mean, we're kind of taking him out of his uh, comfort zone a little bit. And again, so now on this drive, he gets back into being able to call a hurry up. And, it, you know, I mean, it was, ki was kind of working. So I was like, oh, you know, all right. I mean, you see, like, once you get someone out of their comfort zone, that's when, you know, like I showed you guys, I you know, I took him out of his comfort zone. He couldn't complete passes. He couldn't call hurry up. Then that's when I was able to stop him and take a two-touchdown lead. But Derek Johnson getting us the ball right back. Again. I'm telling you, this guy makes plays. That's all he does is make plays, and it's just amazing, man. I love this card. So now we're just going to, again, he's coming out in prevent. So I'm like, you know what, let's just run it up the go with Eddie Lacy. Maybe I ran it too much. As you can see right here, he's tired, and he fumbles the ball. Man, I know that I was saying that, uh, you know, that his 100 carrying is legit, and he doesn't fumble he doesn't really fumble just on that play he was really tired and again Derek Johnson with the hat trick three interceptions <laughs> oh my lord and then Jamal Charles is going to get on the fun spin move Jamal Charles he's off to the race but unfortunately I decided to try to showboat a little bit too much and he stopped uh, but still getting down to the one so now again Jamal I'm just going to take it up the middle with Jamal Charles for the touchdown man this game's getting out of control and it's getting out of control pretty freaking quick uh but again man like i said you know i got him out of his comfort zone and then i just you know and then the wheel started to fall off for this guy and right here he throws it deep d'angelo hall's got the pick and here we go d'angelo hall trying to run it back there's gonna be a wall of people there and oh he's being turned around d'angelo hall there's no one around <laughs> d'angelo hall what an amazing Pick six, man. He had me, and he just turned me around the wrong way. Uh, so, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Madden 15 Ultimate Team game as he's going to rage quit after this. Um, again, thank you for 600 subscribers. I cannot believe it. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have a great day.